Welcome back into K Nation. When Avery Johnson entered the game against SEMO last season, you could feel the energy in the stadium as to what's to come, and now that time is here. Well, the Avery Johnson era started with a Pop Tarts Bowl win. Now, K Nation's Glenn Kinley sits down with the quarterback to find out what's in store for year two. Over the offseason, the coach who recruited you here and who was calling the plays your freshman year here left. You decided to stay loyal to Kansas State. Talk to me about why. Really just the relationships I had built here and uh, my relationship with not just Coach Kleiman, but the rest of the coaches on the staff. It's really family orientated here, and uh, I feel like this is, uh, you know, the place that I chose for a reason, and this is, uh, you know, where God wanted me to be. So ultimately, I'm happy with my decision, and I stuck with it, and I'm just happy to get back to work this winter. An unusual freshman season, right? I mean, you played some weeks, you didn't some weeks. Was that challenging for you? For sure, it was just different because I was so used to being, you know, the starter for three years in high school, and you're just so used to being the guy and having to sit behind um, Will for for some games and you know sometimes get an opportunity sometimes not it was just um, just a different feeling mm -hmm. not knowing you know if I was going to play one week if I wasn't but ultimately I think it was it was really good for me to be able to you know learn from learn from Will and um, uh, be able to pick his brain and be a sponge to him. Your first collegiate start at least at quarterback in that bowl game how big was that I know it's just one game but that's weeks of preparation weeks of reps with the ones and then probably you feel like you got a huge head start on the next season. Yeah, I mean, I was really just uh, ready for my opportunity. Fortunate enough to be around a great offensive line and, and one that had played together for so long and a, a bunch of guys that were confident in me. That allowed me to do my job and, and not try to do too much. So just wanted to kind of slingshot us into this 2024 season with a, with a bowl game victory. But that's all in the past now, and we're just focusing on, you know, this this one week and taking everything one, one day at a time. I want to talk about some of the guys that you're throwing to. Uh, we saw Keegan when he was healthy at the end of the year. Who could not be excited about what Jace Brown did as a true freshman? And you bring in a guy like Dante out of the transfer portal, and and the list goes on. How excited are you to, to just get to work with those guys? You know, super excited, and just in a year span, Keegan has really stepped outside of his com comfort zone and been a lot more vocal and um, stepped into a leadership role. And even in the bowl prep, he was doing that as well. And he's starting to get comfortable, and and I feel like that chemistry that I'm building with him off the field is going to translate on. And you know everything about Jace and the chemistry we have um, on and off the field. So. Um, I'm really excited for what he can do, but we have, you know, a, a ton of a ton of guys that are ready to, you know, prove themselves and make a name for themselves. So I'm just really excited for the work they're going to put in in the off season and and how it's going to translate onto the field. Even when maybe you weren't able to establish a, a whole lot of rhythm, being out there and not being out there, the pressure never got to you. Is that always how you've been? And if so, why? Um, really, just from a young age, uh, my dad has instilled a confidence in in myself and. You know, I wake up every day and tell myself I'm, I'm the best quarterback to ever play the game. And I feel like if, if you want to be the best, um, you have, obviously have to train to be the best, but it starts um, in your own mind and um, you have to tell yourself that, that you're going to be the best. And the confidence I have in myself and the confidence I have in uh, my teammates around me just allows me to go out there and play worry-free. I would say you have a new offensive coordinator. You kind of have two new offensive coordinators. You work with Connor Riley with the, for the bowl game and then you've gotten to know Matt Wells a little bit, I'm sure, although it is still just February. Yeah. To work with both of them is, is really exciting for me. Um, I got to, you know, like you said, I got to work the whole bowl prep with um, Coach Riles and, and kind of get to know him on a deeper level because I didn't spend a lot of time with him um, in position meetings and, and stuff like that. So I'm just getting, I'm really excited for what, what he brings to the table and just getting to know Coach Wells this past few weeks, sitting down with him and talking ball. Um, I definitely think um, he's going he's gonna to bring uh, a lot of stuff that, that Kansas State fans should be excited for. What's an underrated area of your game? I know everyone knows you can run. I think you've shown enough that you have you have the arm too. I would really just say, you know, my passing ability and, and just uh, my ability to, you know, make throws and, and just be smart with the football. A lot of times in that bowl game, I wanted to maybe force a throw or try to make a play here or there, but try to live by that next play mentality and not try to do too much and just, you know, take the game as it comes. As a Kansas kid, kind of a new era of Big 12 football, quite frankly, with new teams. And how much does it excite you, the opportunity that has presented itself for Kansas State to be at the top of that conference? It's really exciting. It's just because I feel like football in Kansas has been overlooked for, for a really long time. And now with the college football playoff expanding to 12 teams, um, we have a chance to, you know, go out and um, obviously our goal is to win the Big 12 and us winning the Big 12 would solidify us a spot in that college football playoff. We're just, we're just excited to just be in contention for that. And obviously we don't want to look too far ahead. So right now we're just, you know, we're going to focus on uh, winter conditioning, then it'll be spring ball, then it'll be fall camp, and then when the season rolls around, we're just going to take it one week at a time. I want to ask about staying healthy. Any quarterback who runs a lot, fans are going to be worried about when he's getting hit. Is it you're going to have to get out of bounds a lot? Are we sliding a lot? Or, is that an area that you actually work on? How do I make sure I'm not taking hits too often? 
Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a routine I kind of have for myself, and that's whether it's, you know, extra stretching, um, you know, recovery, whatever it is throughout the week. And then as you do get into the season, I mean, it's kind of funny that you brought that up because uh, I was watching, you know, watching games with Coach Wells, and he's like, you got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. So a uh, big thing for me this offseason is obviously putting on some weight to be able to take hits when I need to and just being able to, to be smart enough to know, you know, when I should take a hit and when it's not needed. Uh, obviously, if it's end of the game, fourth down, and, you know, you need an extra yard, I'm going to go get it. But um, the biggest thing is just not taking unnecessary hits and, and being able to keep myself um, healthy for a full season. Mm, appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Thank you.